We're uh, going. Hello, live from Ricky Lee's living room here in New Orleans, Louisiana. I'm so excited to play for you, whoever you are, wherever you are. And we're hoping you're seeing what we're seeing. So. Hello, there you are. All right, I got a little list of songs. I'll just get started. And I was thinking of maybe reading from the book later, but I'm not sure if we'll do that. Maybe we'll do that in a couple days. Let's see what happens today. This is one of the first songs I wrote. In fact, I want to tell you a little bit about the songs. I wrote this song in 1977. I wrote Easy Money and Weasel and the White Boys Cool in the same couple of months. And Weasel was, um, can you hear me okay? Yeah. Weasel was inspired by my friend, Sal Bernardi, this guy I'd met from New Jersey, who was unlike anybody in Venice. He had long black hair and his really dark Italian. He stood out like a ruby in a black man's ear, walking down a boardwalk in Venice. And I took him home and made him peaches and cream. So I was working near Rose Nook in downtown. Selling articles of Congress for the people downtown. Cause he was a little sleazy when I met him. Was a weasel in a poor boy's wolf. He was a weasel in a poor boy's wolf. He was a weasel in a poor boy's wolf. Yeah. Sadly. Vinyl pin in New Jersey And he'd like to buy a little From a whore that lives next door well, He wants it rare But he, he gets it well Because he's a weasel On a short order floor He's a weasel on a short order floor So 
your little hearts going by and that's so cool imagine if you're playing in the theater and little hearts came up from the people as they maybe in my lifetime so not long after I met Sal and he was working at Nero's Nook pornographic bookstore in downtown LA my friend, my boyfriend, Mark Vaughn, and I drove down to L.A., down to downtown, where we'd never been before, to visit him. And it was real rough. I would say, I got to clean up all the cum back there in the, in the you know, film places. And it was like a movie, right? Well, the state of California got him that job in order to get food stamps. Uh, anyway, he, he didn't last long there in L.A., and he went back to San Francisco and eventually made his way back to New Jersey. So I went to school at Santa Monica College, and I got a job through the work-study program. And for a little while, I was an operator you know, and they had these things called trunk lines where you could call anywhere for free. <laughs> I had an old phone number for Sal and I tracked him down to New Jersey. And it was a very exciting moment when he picked up the phone and said, Oh my God, I was just talking about you to my friend Joey Vanessa, telling him about your my funny valentine now you do my funny valentine no so it was meant to be and we hooked up again i met up with him just before the oh no no i i brought the record to him in new york city after i'd re recorded it i i sang him this song no i'm wrong i played him the song on the record and and when it was over it was a great solo by Buzzy Featon and one of the Breckers, I think, Randy maybe, and uh, Neil Larson, incredible solos. And the song's over and he looks at me and he says, a weasel?
So I ran away from home a couple of times, a couple of summers. And one time, one summer, I think 69 or 70, I got let off in Los Angeles on Sunset Boulevard and ended up, uh, I ended up there at the corner of Alvarado and Sunset the Burrito King. I was very hungry run away. It was the most delicious thing I ever ate, a burrito at the, at the Burrito King before I continued my sojourn to Northern California. And so some years later, I was back living in LA, writing songs for what would be my first record. And and I imagined this street again and wondered, who's walking down it right now? What's their lives like? And I made up a girl named Pepe because I'm a girl named Ricky, so I gave her a boy's name too. And this is the song called Young Blood. We take a walk around midnight in the city. Young blood hiding there somewhere. You're looking for something to do. Maybe something is happening there. I am bragging for the coup today. And you know Pepe got a friend in a Chevrolet, but she ain't ready. She's just working a little slow and she ain't crying. see the visitor has come to the microphone. 
little animal, you have to be there now. Sorry about that. <laughs> Um, ah, the train. I live right next to the train. I was hoping so much we could do this show without the train coming. But it's coming. I guess if the train comes while we're doing, as he seems to be doing, we're going to have to do a, a train song, don't you think? I know I wrote one. Bob Dylan wrote one. There's a couple of them, right? Well, I ride on a mail train Came by a thread I've been up all night Just leaning on a window sill If I die Break man look good, Papa, lagging down the double lead. Don't the sun look good going down over the trees? But don't my man look fine when it's coming out? The winter time is coming The windows are full of frost I went to tell everybody But I could not get across That I just want to be your lover I don't want to be your boy This song, let's see. My dad used to sing this song. I think I can. Sleeping in the shade How you expect 
expect to get your call me I don't wanna get my call me I'm just lying in the new day shade When tables need fixing I bet you keep praying The birds fall off the vine and I forgot how the rest of the bridge goes, yeah. But I think it's something about how you never do anything that you're supposed to do, and you always come in late, and you don't do it on time. Lazy and bones. Wait a minute, fishing, wishing, I explain better. Lazy and bones, loafing all the day. Now how you expect to make a dime that way? I don't want to make no dime anyway. I just, I heard a word you say. I ain't heard a word you say. I like being this way that I am anyway. Chase the train away. come he don't come and PLP with me down at the meter no more how come he turn up his TV I saw that he hangs a sign on his door you know we call and we call how come we say well, what could make a boy behave that way? And he slurred up the lines, you know, those cool lines. And now he don't even stutter when he talks. It's true, it's true. He sure did acquire a cool and spice for sort the of jazz when he walks. Where's his jacket? Where's his old blue jeans? Cause this ain't healthy. This is just some kind of clean. I think that Chuck is in love. Chuck is in love. Chuck is in love. Chuck. you saying to me that's something I have to see is he here go look in a pool hall is he here oh, I looked in the drugstore is he here no he don't come in here no more tell you what I saw him Sitting right behind us at the pen pages. And whatever it is that he's got up his sleeve, I hope it's not contagious. What's her name? Is that her there? Christ, she's even combed his hair. Is that her? What's her name? Oh, we'll never.
Chuck is in love. I was thinking about this. Chuck is in love with me. What are those chords there anyway? I'll remember. Let's see now. So Chuck is in Love, when I first wrote it, I was an aspiring songwriter. And there weren't very many acts at the time who, you know, might do the kind of songs I wrote. I was trying to write, you know, hit songs. But one of the people on my list was Bette Midler. So when I wrote Chucky's in Love, we we're going to take it to Bette Midler, see if she'd do it. And I wrote it very fast, very upbeat, kind of 40s style. And it was like... <laughs> I can't find it anymore. But it was really fast. I'm, I'm stuck with Domino right now. But and then, and then I had a really sad day, and I was playing it really sad. Chucky's in love. It's so sad. Chuck. And somewhere in there, I played it. I either played it slower for the producers, I'm sure they heard the fast version in my original demo, and then um, we got the idea to slow the pace down. So if it's here, Chucky's. So when I was sad, I must have been Chucky's in love. Like that. That's how I found my way to the mid tempo Chucky's in love that ended up me singing it instead of the divine. Let's see now. The divine is supposed to divine. Uh, I have a little list here. Cops. Let's see. Um, oh, somebody mentioned this song and they put a little money on the book. <laughs> so I'm going to do this song for you. Um, I wrote this song with Leo Kaki, and um, I think my daughter was about three years old, between three and five, when I met Leo. So, you know, that's 30 years ago. And we s I got to produce a record of his called Peculiar Lo Peculiaroso. What a great writer and a funny guy and an amazing guitar player. I quite liked him. I was quite smitten. And uh, my job as producer was just to sit there <laughs> and not say anything, which I did pretty well. And then when we got to turning into Randolph Scott, I brought in my friends Sid Straw, Teresa Tudory. Gosh, I'm not forgetting anybody. And we sang the most in unusual ensemble of voices in Randolph Scott. And then on this song, Running From Mercy, which also had Lyle Lovett in it, who at that time was a, a compadre, and we were singing on each other's uh, records. So this is called Running From Mercy. It's kind of a blend of Catholicism and Presbyterianism. I think you'll be able to tell where <laughs> where the priests begin and the reverends end. Sorry.
and um, I was getting divorced at the time, an acrimonious divorce that just went on and on, and I needed something to lift my heart, and I was sitting in the third lawyer's office reading a magazine, the third divorce lawyer, and uh, came upon this article about early American quilts. And on one of the quilts was most of the first verse, so I'll sing this to you. Oh, sacred patience with my soul of mine. There's a rainbow above me, but the storm cloud hides it, and kind words will never die. There's a magic in kindness. It springs from love, love, love. Wild little acts of kindness, little words of love, make this earthly home. Sorrow, heaven cannot heal. Abide within, no cross, no
unlock you wherever you are. I bought a couple of bottle of wines if you guys want a cocktail. Let me know. I'll make some. I got white wine, red wine. I don't drink soda pops. Ah, thank you. Are you still with me? I know that uh, our uh, our internet attention span is is lower, but I, I want to play a few more for you. I I don't know if there's a I, I hope there's a button you can push if you want to donate to it. See, aside from loving to sing and loving to sing for you, um, my my whole tour got canceled in April, and. Uh, and that was a drag because in New Orleans I was going to be on Jazz Fest and um, the French Quarter Fest. I waited a long time for those. And, and then uh, I was going to play in Montreux again and that was many years waiting to be forgiven for whatever I did. And Not that, you know, it's not about me, but I lost all the income that I, that I needed. And... Um, so it's good that the government's helping us, huh? I hope you're being helped by the small business loans and and um, by the kindness of people around you. I hope that you're getting through. There you are on Facebook, so you still have internet. But anyway, if you have any despair, I'm so grateful if you donate a little ticket money um, and and uh, I I put up a Venmo and a PayPal. I I hope it's up there. I forgot to check, but I think it's there. I hope so. Um, and if not, next get me next time. Um, so this is a song that I wrote on a on a that was on a record called The Evening of My Best Day that came out in two thousand and two. For a long time, I just felt like I was going to end. It was a really long ending, and then I didn't end. So, <laughs> But that record was about the evening of my best day, as if the days were going to end. And, um, and it was, you know, we'd just come to the new millennium, and George Bush had s stolen the election by the Supreme Court. It was such a terrible time, and... And so I wrote some of my first political and only political that is addressing a, a, a situation happening right then instead of the larger cos cosmos kind of thing, <laughs> cosmetic kind of thing <laughs> I like to do. And, uh, and I wrote some good songs, I think. I liked them. But, um, and this is one of them, but this, this isn't so much... Um, I think this is on the, that record. Well, anyway, I'm going to sing you this song. Oh, I don't know what record it's on anymore. Um, and no, it, it is on the record. And it was inspired by this tree next to my daughter's middle school. There was a tree I'd drive by after I dropped her off that always had flowers next to it. Um, I don't know about elsewhere, but in California, people were putting flowers around where people died. And um, and so the, the seeing this devotion of whoever it was to this tree, to this location, I was so struck with how, I know it, it was sad, but, but it wasn't. It was, it was a tree that was so loved by this person who, who brought these flowers every day. And I thought, I, I think I'm starting to see things differently. Um, a tree on Allen Ford. I drive by it each day on my way to work. There are always flowers 
left there each day There was a child who died there Well, that's what people say Looks back at me Loved by someone Loved by someone Loved by someone Loved by someone of this is to say that we are all part of everything that will ever exist to be loved that's why we come see every drop of rain that ever falls the same one's fall nothing that has ever been that is in love by someone who waits to be loved again one I wanted to do but I I'm a it's a cover song but uh if it wouldn't break the mood we could maybe we could do it um uh you know what I'm thinking I'm going to do a Sunday matinee at at 12 o'clock so that my friends in Europe can tune in and it won't be so late because it's six seven o'clock there and right now it's like two or three in the morning so yeah so let's do a noon show Sunday because um, this is our first one and and I think we did pretty good we got the lighting and and I hope I want to thank who do I want to thank I want to thank 
um, Jason, yeah, right? I want to thank Jason for bringing his microphone and stand and buying the stuff to do the interface. He's over doing the golden hour right now here in New Orleans. We've got a lot of live music coming out to the world from here. And um, so I think we can do it in at noon. It'll be different light, but um, and maybe we can figure out a way to do the piano because I'd like to do some other music for you. And uh, I love this frame, right? But Right, we're gonna do some more. So, if if we can, if we do it on Sunday, then I'm gonna sing "Rock Rock Me on the Water" for you because uh, I think it's very timely. But I think uh, if I do it today, I I could start it and mess it up. So let's do um, let's do another song. We did it, it. We have fun. Let's do another song. What shall it be? Um, I love G, G's the happiest chord. Let's try this. I haven't, you know, I haven't been on tour in many months. Um, and I started singing, uh, you know, I never used to have to practice, but I do now. I started singing about four, singing about four days ago. Well, I was worried, but I think it held up pretty good. This song I wrote when I lived in Beechwood Canyon. Um, I wrote these two songs, Chucky's in Love and The Last Chance Texaco, within a week or two of each other. And uh, they were hard, they were, they were good songs, but I don't know why, but the, the place they came from was so hard to bring them forth. It's like they had a destiny on them. So it wasn't just writing a song, it was, it was delivering birth to a destiny. And not just my destiny, but the songs, all the people they were gonna go meet. You know what I mean? It was rough, a lot of crying, a lot of, a lot of heartbreak writing these songs. But then when it was done, I was like, look at this, it glows in the dark, it shines like a star. stretch of headlights that bend into I-9 and they tiptoe in at truck stops and sleepy diesel eyes the volcanoes that rumble in the taxi they glow in the dark and the camels in the driver's seat they slow gas down a road of peace and his battery is dead and the cables don't reach this is your last chance so check under the hood it's your last chance she ain't sounding too good your last chance to trust the man with a star. Cause you found the last chance, Tessico. The last chance. Tried to be standard, he tried to be mobile, he tried living in a world and in a shell. A block but still blood, he loved her free hearts and labor, but she broke down.
twenty fuel injected. No plugs disconnected. She gets scared and stalls, but she just needs a man. She can't hide all this long Her last chance Turn her over and go Till you pull out of the last chance Taxi car Thanks for coming to the living room, Rickety's living room. I had a really good time. And um, I think we're going to shut off the live thing now. <laughs> oh, that's all right. Um, I did want to answer some of your queries and comments, but, but you know, they're going by really fast on the Oh well, you gave me too many. Um, thank you for coming. And, and all performances are fantastic, but the idea of playing instantly to people around the world is so thrilling and oddly calming. I really, really liked it a lot. And um, I'll see you Sunday. We'll have a Ricky goes to church. Okay? All right. Thank you very much. Come back on over here, boy. <laughs> Good night.